Fine. The gold is not for me. The gold is for the tall. I collect the tall. I collect the gold. 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 Gold? No. I pay it back. to do. 
do. Looking ahead.
Looks empty. Hmm. What's that? Seized inventory. Close. I can feel it. The absolute. Its power is strong here. the town distillery getting a distinct whiff of alcohol mm. a place like this must hide all manner of secrets doubt about it. Here to see the doctor? Are we poorly? Are we desperately poorly? Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. Is that blood? No, never mind.
That's far enough. His thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. Ah, one blessed like myself. What news, true soul? Who better to suss out his like? You'll find Zrell in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. Let's hope this Zrell likes what we have to say. Praise the Absolute. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the Absolute. Another true soul. The Disciple will want to see you through the main doors. As we was told, General, followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Ass! No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She... Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpoles squirms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Mercy, General! Please! General Thorm? Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. Even the Blade of Frontiers knows when he's outmatched. Well, true soul, what about the goblins? See? What I tell ya? Praise the Absolute! Faith without action is anemic, sickly, in a word, useless. We are too close to the ending, and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them, quickly. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! <laughs> Sorry, my lord, she's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again.
Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! General that cannot be killed, but his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn what fuels his power. From this seat, Ketherick defied gods and raised an army for the Absolute. It is not particularly comfortable. A throne fit for a tyrant, but most certainly not for you. Obludra, trader in blood and the sanguineous arts. It is a pleasure to stand before a true soul and your pale companion. I'd like to offer my services, if you're willing. <laughs> Please. You think someone in my line of work wouldn't recognize a vampire spawn when they see one? I trade in blood, and the potions that can be wrung from it. I'm more than happy to make you one, if you'd honor me with your blood. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. Research, naturally. A little experimentation, perhaps. I have an innate curiosity for all things sanguine. No idea, but it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the Absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together, hmm? I'm here, should you change your mind. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your friend. He's a vampire, no? Or one of their spawn, at least. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the Absolute. 
I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. I assume he belongs to you? Ah, it's like that. Do you have a name, Spawn? Uh, Astarian, but, but hold on! Good. Now, Astarian. I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale, but it's yours if you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? I'm sorry, but could you excuse us a moment? Are you actually asking me to do this? Trading me for some... some... some potion? Because there's something wrong with her blood. I can smell it from here. It's rank. I don't have all day, true soul. Fine. I'll do it. Darling, I've had a sudden change of heart. After all, who could resist such a delectable neck? Hold very, very still. your taste. <laughs> you are fetid, full of corruption. I feel exquisite, though. So here's my part of the bargain. I hope you find it as satisfying as I found this. It was everything I imagined, and then more. I'll be able to put this to good use. She sees everything we are. Do you understand? There is no hiding from her. True soul. You use a spoon to stir the soup, Barnabas. Forget the axe, my darling. <laughs> now, how can I help you? I've shown Barnabas a kinder way. A kinder name is only fitting. 
That is the gift the Absolute gave me when I stood before her. To rewrite the lives of her faithful. Make them believe there's something better. Praise her works. Committed by the hands of her faithful. Observe. you like him to do? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, Barnabas? You feel her will surge outwards and envelop the creature, inexorable as the tide. <coughs> trace of restraint is gone. Barnabas has tasted blood and wants more. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority 